So just as things were starting to calm down, uh, apparently we got another one, but wait! There is more! So we had the PlayStation 5 situation, the Xbox situation, now we got Assassin's Creed. And let me tell you, that's not the only thing we have. I lost count. We got a bunch of stuff going down right now. I got a lot of things that I want to share with you guys in this video. What is going on in gaming, bro? What is going on in gaming? What the hell is happening in gaming? Like this video if you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. Dislike the video. If you think Woke is good, Woke is good. Yeah, if you think Volk is good, uh, dislike the video, but check this out, man. Hey, what's up, guys? Right here. So yesterday, we got the official world premiere trailer for Assassin's uh -oh. Creed Shadows, and a lot of people have been talking about this, mainly criticizing a lot of aspects of this trailer. So you can see right here on YouTube, it has reached over 300,000 dislikes and has a like-dislike ratio around 30 or 40 percent. It's not very good, and there is a long list of reasons as to why people are criticizing this trailer. And let's begin with the most talked about point, and is the choice of the yeah. main characters. Now, there are two e. main characters, and remember, as stated right here, this takes place in uh -oh. feudal Japan. And yet, yeah. the main characters are a woman and a black man. I'm not sure if he's gonna be like showing a video in a bit or not, but like, I think he will show a video because apparently the, the Japanese community is upset. Not everybody. The black community is also upset. Not everybody, but uh, there is a video that's going viral from a black homie, right? And I feel like that he did a very good job. Not I feel like he did a very good job um, uh, sh talking about it. We're, we're gonna get down to that video if he doesn't show in this one. Because the black community is always is used as a scapegoat, right? And, and this game is based off of Japan, feudal Japan. And, and a lot of people were really excited that we're finally gonna get a Japanese. Japanese uh, protagonist, but yeah, like they they don't have a Japanese protagonist, and they have a chick, but apparently her jawline is so strong, it, it's making Brock Lesnar look like a clown in front of her. Apparently, it just seems like a very odd thing for a setting yeah. in feudal Japan. A lot of people were expecting, at the very least, a Japanese set of main characters, but that's not what they got. Instead, they got the character based on a real person called. Yazuke, okay? So looking into this character, we've seen other people try to raise what about isms, saying when Shogun came out, they're asking, mm. where is Wait for Yazuke, the, the first Japanese samurai? And people, of course, were getting their historical timelines wrong in that case. But here, we see them claiming that Yazuke is a samurai, when that is not true and is not yeah. supported by any historical... There is like a Wikipedia war going on. Everybody's like real. Everybody's getting their Twitter finger pro and trying to edit out. Some are editing out uh, 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 the, the history. They're, okay, essentially, basically put, okay? They are trying to change history. That's what it comes down to. They're literally trying to erase the history and change it. For what reason? I don't know. And as we get down to it, I, I'm, I'm shocked to see this. The responses, you can see, this is everybody's response right now. Like, w what is going on in gaming? What a damn joke one guy says. What the, uh, what the F happened to this company? We discovered why the, the wage gap exists. Gaming is so cooked. What is reds? You want to know what is red? Well, guys, you're not ready for this one. You wish you didn't see this coming. I, I wish I also didn't see this coming. I blame, blame Truth, because I watched this video, and he also covered this part. And I really blame him for it. <laughs> for actually, nah, I don't blame him literally. Early, but but like I'm actually shocked genuinely am we're proud to receive the diversity charter uh, award for our menstrual leave benefit in the category of innovative approach to diversity Bruh. equity and inclusion in business okay check this out 39 they have the blood emoji here uh, quite ir ironic I guess no pun intended 39% of eligible reds have taken menstrual leave at least once. Wow, so they're apparently getting an award award just for simply having like a biological thing happen to that. Yeah, we were talking gaming. How is this linked with gaming? I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. How is this linked with gaming? It's a gaming company, right? I don't know how this is linked with gaming, bruh. On a, uh, another one, on a monthly average, 11.3% of eligible <laughs> reds use this benefit. Uh, again, I don't know how this is linked with gaming. 57% use menstrual leave at least twice. Wow! With 1% using it every month. Wow! Yeah, guys, everybody clap it up. We got it, we got it. It's like the equivalent. It's even worse than... It's even worse than participation ribbons that we used to get as kids back when we were in, like, elementary school, right? Crazy! It is crazy! What is going on in gaming, bro? What is going on in gaming? 
right, historical back evidence. To the you can see from a content. quick search that he was a servant and a retainer. This was not something that was considered a samurai. So people constantly trying to claim that have been wrong. And it's been a big point of misinformation for months now. And also on that Wikipedia page, people yeah. are fighting for their lives to revise and re-revise this page over and over again to try to label Yasuke as something that he is not. And of course that shouldn't surprise you because a lot of the people defending and supporting this choice of a main character are relying on historical accuracy that yeah, is not yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So they are quite literally trying to change history <laughs> to support their own oh narrative God, and how man. they support this choice of a main character. Now going forward... Y you cannot go lower than the when Sagas are like justifying the game. Now listen, even I saw the trailer, I'll, I'll be the first one to say I, I cannot be fake offended here, okay? I cannot be fake offended because I'm not black, I'm not Japanese. I'm I'm ethnically brown. I'm Pakistani, so I'm ethnically brown, right? So I I, I, I cannot be fake offended and I'm not offended, but I'm seeing all of this crap go down in gaming all of the sudden. I know it's not all of the sudden. It's not, but it feels like that way because now the masses are talking about it. I never thought that we're gonna ever talk about this crap in video games, right? Yeah, it was happening in movies for a very long time. I knew about it, but have I ever made a video on it? Uh, I'm talking about like, you know, two or three years ago, that kind of situation five years ago. I never thought about making a video and I never did uh, make a video and I never wanted to make a video because, you know, that's movie scrap, uh, video games. We cover video game news. Now it's coming to gaming and this is gaming news, guys. This is literally gaming news. This is the peak gaming, uh, gaming news. So, getting back to topic at hand, the, uh, the the black community is upset with it because they always are used as scapegoat, right? Uh, and these companies just want to, you know, check boxes. That's what it is all about. DEI, BlackRock money, they're all about that, right? And, and J Japanese folks are like, hey, what the hell is going on? Like, this, uh, this, uh, this should be having, like, a Japanese protagonist and they're not wrong with it. But as a brown man, I'm not offended by it, but I understand where they're coming from. I absolutely do understand. And, and when you are given a bigger picture and when you see like all this crap that's happening in gaming, why? Why? Literally, why? Like, why? 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 I, I understand the frustration and I definitely understand where everybody's coming from. Now, I seen the trailer. I like the trailer Bruh. for what it is. Now, Admittedly, I do know it's a CGI and we're talking about once again. We're talking about it's a Ubisoft game So the game is probably not gonna be that good. Okay, it's not gonna be that good trailer Probably the best okay minus the wool crap and all that minus the messaging if you forget about the messaging uh, You're probably not gonna be super mad and admittedly. I'm not a history buff. I didn't know I didn't care for it I I, I was seeing a lot of people say yeah, Assassin's Creed trailer drop bro Assassin's Creed I was like yeah, I'm probably gonna watch it like whenever I get the chance and then I started seeing the timeline being flooded I was like ah oh, well here we go again now I need to check it out and then I saw then I got to know the history and I got to know what Ubisoft did and then I was like ah Aha! We know why! Okay, we get it! We get it! I started getting it and then of course, of course! Uh, uh, Asmongold comes out says that maybe this is their strategy add in a main character for a game that's really controversial and that way it will distract from the, the, the fact you're trying to get people to spend $130 for the effing game as when Gold called out Assassin's Creed Shadow uh, Shadows for the price again. Yeah, bro, like, look at this crap, bro. Look at this crap. So $70 gets you the peasant, peasant version. $130 USD, mind you. And for $80 a month, you can actually play the game. You know, you can actually play the game and get all the pre-order bonus season passes, uh, three-day early access and all that. R yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy Again, the whataboutisms continue. A lot of people are pointing out that, well, okay, in previous Wait Assassin's Creed games, we had a game set in Italy. You played as an Italian man. Game set in France, played as a Frenchman. And yeah. a game set in America, you played as a Native American man, and so on and so forth. So people bring out Assassin's Creed Black Flag, and they're like, wait a second, this game was set in the Caribbean, and you play as a Welshman. Again, quick Google search will show you that most pirates of that era were of Welsh or European descent, so that doesn't really work. Now, people moved on to a different argument, saying a double standard. If you are criticizing Assassin's Creed Shadows, then you also should have been criticizing the game Neo. And you can see right here a large post with 30, 31,000 likes saying everyone complaining about Assassin's Creed Shadows having a black samurai also had a problem with this right, right? And it's, of course, a white samurai. But the difference is this was a historically accurate representation of this person in history, unlike how they're trying to portray falsely Yasuke as a samurai when he was simply a retainer. In this case, 
you have William Adams. This is the person that Neo is based on. And you can see he arrived in Japan in around the year 1600 and would achieve nobility and a lot of respect and would eventually be named a samurai. He was actually a samurai, unlike Yasuke. And moving forward, you're probably asking yourself, how did this happen? Why are they pushing this so hard? Well, it makes a lot of sense Alyssa. when you start digging into the people who are oh, responsible no. for this game. So here Alyssa! Oh, oh, we what? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Okay, no, that's not the same. Or uh, uh, did she change her act? You have an individual named Alyssa. They are always named Alyssa for some reason, saying, "I'm beaming with pride and so excited for our team to debut Naoe and Yasuke into the world." So <laughs> let's see who this is. Up, oh, this is the lead writer for Assassin's <laughs> Creed Shadows, a white woman trying to rewrite Japanese. She, her, behaving as the wind behaves. Uh, I, uh, I do behave like the wind behaves. I am strong, I'm independent. Yeah, go queen. Quebec. Bro, why? 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 What? 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 Uh, yo, uh, I am in Montreal, Quebec, Canada as well. Why? Guys, I'm sorry on their behalf. Okay, I apologize on their behalf, bro. <laughs> I oh, oh, I'm shaking. Oh, my bad, my bad. That was the wrong one there. Uh, I apologize on their behalf, guys. I, I didn't know. I, 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 I don't know what's going on, man. I, I really, <laughs> I really don't know what's going on. <laughs> what, what the hell is happening here, bro? What the hell is going on? Like, these things be getting, like, uh, menstrual, something that happens biologically, normally. Uh, uh, they're getting, they're getting, they're getting awards for that. Can I, can I, can a brown man? I'm a brown man, right? Where's my representation at? I want my representation, bro. Bruh. I want my award, man. And you know what? Like, I'll be nice. I won't even ask for a award. Give, give me like, like a small loan of a million dollars, okay? Yeah, I, I'm just saying, okay? Like the video, and I'll give you your cut, Kaji. I will give you your cut as well, Kaji. Everybody's got history here. Very Benji, surprising. Okay? And if you look at the accounts that she's following. Oh, what do we uh -oh. have here? Sweet uh -oh. Baby Ink. It always comes back to Sweet Baby Ink, the woke consulting firm that is responsible for trashing countless games at this point. And if you look at their list of clients on their website, ding, 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 here you go, you got Ubisoft. And that is the company behind Assassin's Creed. So it shouldn't be too surprising what's going on here. And just like any other product of Sweet Baby Ink, it's getting the defense of game journalists like these from The Gamer. Writing this article saying Assassin's Creed Shadows is already, already being called woke and disrespectful. So reading the article, they say this. That means Assassin's Creed Shadows will center around a woman and a black man. And some people on social media have reacted with exactly the kind of behavior we have come to expect nowadays when a protagonist isn't a straight white man. Of course, in other Assassin's Creed games, people were celebrating an Arab man and a Native American man and so on and so forth, but they are just completely missing the point and that is entirely intentional. The reason people are upset about this choice, this set of main characters for this game, is that it feels like pandering. It feels yeah, like pandering to is. anyone who's looking at this objectively, yeah, okay? And you see a lot of people making posts on other comments doing uh, dealing with Neo here where this individual says, Assassin's Creed Shadows is pure pandering. Yasuke was never a samurai and it's disrespectful that every single AC game had uh, characters, characters that culturally fit, but as soon as we get to Japan, you gotta make it about a black man and his experience, stop it. And of course, this was a post made by a black man. And we would see more black men make comments like this saying, Connor is Native yeah. American, we loved his story, and he's one of my favorites. It's almost like there's a actual reason people are upset, but you know, internet is gonna internet. And now we're gonna listen to Oh a yeah, this is the one, this is the one. This guy made an excellent video. And, and what I'm gathering from this one is that people that know the history, they are the ones seeing the problem with it. Uh, and rightfully, understandably so. I, I, like I was saying, I'm not a history buff, right? If people didn't point out to me, I would be like, yeah, whatever. And I guess that's what's happening with generally, uh, with, with the general community. If, for example, if I didn't know the history, like I am finding out about right now, I, I guess my only problem would be about like this one, right? Like, and, and sure, this is a problem. Like, objectively, this is a problem. And objectively, this is also a problem because they're trying to erase the history. And I feel like that general, uh, it's like a 50-50 right now, right? Uh, half of the audience is like, hey, what's so wrong with it, right? What's so wrong with it? I believe that the reason they are not seeing any reason behind it is because 
they're not super big on history, which is fine. Uh, and they don't know. Okay, yeah. Uh, but but uh, the other half is seeing a problem with it clearly because uh, of uh, just this, the pricing, of course. But also the fact that they're changing, that they are actually trying to erase history and, and change history. Now, I'm not a history buff, but now uh, after finding this out, yeah, I, I, I do agree. Like, why? What the hell? And, and it's this is not the first time, of course. Like, like these past uh, two months? Three months? Four months? It has been ramped up to 11, dog. It has been, this crap has been uh, ramped up to 11. Right? bit of this clip right here coming from Kata. This is a very good clip talking about what's going on here and what they're trying to accomplish by having Yazuke as the main character of this game. And it's pretty obvious what it is. It's pandering. All of these kind of different people they could have picked from, they picked Yasuke. Why do they pick Yasuke? Because he's black. So in context, that doesn't matter to me, because in all the Assassin's Creed games, every single character has been of some kind of different race and nationality, so that doesn't matter to me, that's fine. But you yeah. have to understand what day and age we're in. You have to understand the kind of social shit that they want to try to get across in these video yeah. games now. So yeah. instead of using a Japanese man in a game based in Japan, Japan, like they did with the other Assassin's Creed games, Altair, he was an Arab, obviously, yeah, like, listen, nobody's really against diversity. Some some are, sure, and whatever, right? But generally speaking, most people are cool with diversity. Diversity is good. But force diversity, force DEI, that's where people have a problem with, right? And understandably, and this is the prime example, a game based in Japan should have had, like, a Japanese protagonist, right? This falls under diversity, but diversity done good. Diversity done well. Game based, game based in Japan then gets a, a Japanese protagonist. Makes sense, makes sense. Uh, and, and if you're somebody that's, if you're if you're white, brown like me, or black, or whatever, bro, like we don't even, the, these suckers are the ones that are trying to divide us all, right? Like before this, we weren't like doing none of this, like, yeah, you're white, you're brown, hey, I'm brown, hey, you're white, hey, you're black, you, this and that, What what is going on, man? What is going on, bro? Right? Uh, so, so like, everybody wanna, uh, like, we wanna see, like, different, uh, for example, uh, why do people travel to, uh, to visit the country, sure, but also to learn and see the culture, right? Because it's unique, it's new, it's different, diversity, people, yeah, g generally speaking, people are cool with diversity, uh, uh, but this force DEI is where it's, it's just where we're going right now, and that's, uh, I, I, I don't know, man. One of my favorites, Connor, in Assassin's Creed 3, he was Native American, that was fine. And the most famous of them all, Ezio Auditore, who was Italian. So why in all those games would you have a character representative of the region they're from? But in this game, you want to demote a Japanese man and then use Yasuke. I understand why, we know why, but they're mm -hmm. not going to tell you why. Because if you call it out, you're some kind of ist or phobe or whatever. And yeah. since I'm black and I'm calling it out, that means that I must hate my skin or something. You know how they do. Uh. I just see this and my immediate thought is... They did this for brownie points. I can't think of any other reason <laughs> yeah, why yeah. you would have a Assassin's Creed game based in Japan, which we've been clamoring for since the beginning of Assassin's Creed, and then have the main protagonist that is a male be black. I see that and I'm like, that's that. Uh, there's no other reason than I want claps for it. There's no other reason. This doesn't make any sense to me. It's stupid. I know exactly why you're doing it. I see straight through it. It's annoying. It's pandering. It doesn't do anything for me, but piss yeah. me off. Mm. So as expected with Twitter and the progressive people on there, when they saw a black man criticizing the choice of Yasuke as one of the main characters and the labeling of him as a samurai, they were up to their usual nonsense attacking yeah, uh, him. They, they must have, they must have uh, be like, yeah, you, bro, you're no longer black after this one. Yeah, they must have been like, yeah, yo, bro, bro, you're not black after this one. How dare you actually say that? Yeah, they probably, knowing them, they probably would have done that. Saying all kinds of terrible things in the replies. But overall, course, a lot of people are course. supporting his message, and I think it's a very good one. But you might be asking yourself, too, what is the reaction of people from Japan? How are they viewing this situation? Well, as pointed out by many people, they are quite confused. A lot of the comments and the reviews and reactions of people from Japan are that of confusion. They don't understand <laughs> these choices oh, from me. Oh, man, these poor people, man. Oh, poor guy bro poor guys because like they don't have any of these problems or they don't have this problem the way we are having this problem here in the west right they're like completely unaware i wouldn't say completely unaware but generally speaking right like they're unaware of the bull squash that's going on here i guess after stellar blade they started to find out and now they're really gonna find out what the hell is happening here in the west so the west and the east are, is now coming together gamers from all walks of life are coming together right now man yeah poor poor dude man poor guy
main characters. And here's some comments on the trailer released in Japan. You can see comments translate, of course, saying this. Up until now, the main characters have been the original local races and ethnic groups, but why do they become different races when it comes to Japan? Why mm -hmm. do they go out of their way to use black people, even though it's set in Japan? If they wanted to use black people, they could have just changed the setting, but it's yeah. too mysterious. Yeah. Yeah. And then down here, this user says, if you release a work with a Japanese protagonist in an African setting in the future, I will forgive you. And here's another one saying, for the first time, I understand what cultural appropriation was. And here's some more comments from Twitter. This user saying, Seven. a game where black people massacre <laughs> Japanese people in the Sengoku Seven. period is a perfect example of Ubi. Uh, is this what happens when political correctness is taken to the extreme? This user also saying the sword is in the wrong position. It's no good to have it open at your side. I wanted Yazuke to appear as an ally. Are they mocking Japan? They should have just made someone like Saizo Kiragakure as an assassin. And people saying uh, it's a bit disappointing. I want to play as a Japanese ninja. It's my favorite game since I started with Syndicate and I have played everything. So this is sad. I don't think there are any Sad. Japanese people supervising with architecture. It's Chinese and filled with lanterns, Tory gates, and paper lanterns, so it doesn't feel like this. I think yeah. the Shogun stands out after the good examples in the drama. So I think this point up here about Yazuke uh, potentially being like a side character, an ally in this game, I think that's what people might have expected, and I think it would have been a really cool thing to happen, but oh, to yeah. make him again as one of the two main protagonists in feudal Japan, it just seems a bit odd. And again, like I said, they're relying on historical accuracy to buffer their arguments, but it doesn't work out when they falsely claim that he is a samurai when he was not. And going forward, if you're an Asian person trying to complain about this, don't go to Reddit, because they're not going to be supported anyway. So, we have oh, this person leaving a comment Pump the brakes. Redditor gets banned for mentioning he wanted an Asian male Assassin's Creed protagonist rather than an Asian woman. Bumble cloud. Bumble cloud. And, and apparently her chin is stronger than the, the chin of Brock Lesnar. Like, looks like that she can beat up Brock Lesnar with her pinky toe, bruh. Trying to complain about this, don't go to Reddit because they're not going to be supported anyway. So we have this person leaving a comment saying, any other Asian people disappointed that we don't get an Asian male main character? This person would be banned. Yes, you can't even express your disappointment in the choice of these main characters. Now, going forward, uh, all of this drama, all of these complaints about this game, and here's the price. The standard edition, of course, being 70 bucks, but the ultimate edition, a cool $130. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to shill out $130 to play this ultimate edition? You might have also noticed uh, there is four choices here. Uh, which one do you think they are trying to lean you towards? Which one, do you have any idea which one they want you to pick out of those four options? Well, maybe it's the one with a giant blue uh, border around it directing you to pay a monthly payment instead of an upfront cost like with the other bundles. So yeah, that's what they're trying to do to milk extra money out of you, but that's not surprising. And what's also not surprising is the crash. So Ubisoft stock has crashed as the European markets have opened. A big drop. This is like an any color stock kind of drop right here, but you know what? You reap what you sow. This has been a terrible set of looks for Ubisoft here, and it's not too surprising that it's having repercussions. Again, people speak with your wallets, speak with your, your choices to support. Yeah, but that's beautiful to see. That's beautiful to see. But again, like, we're talking about the stock, and Ubisoft stock has been falling for a very long time. Are they gonna recover? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, man. I really don't know. They got... Uh, normally, uh, a lot of stocks that go down, if the company is good, they recover. But Ubisoft, I actually searched for it, and their stock used to be somewhere around $80, $100 back in the days, right? So they fell massively, right? And they keep on going down. I, I guess uh, they're after the ESG money. They're after the BlackRock money, right? I guess, but I'm not sure if you guys were able to catch this. This is insane. This is truly insane. This video is going viral right now. There's a clip in this one. It's to do with the Xbox situation and the drama with it. Check this video out. On the left, we ended up getting some new information about GTA 6. Rockstar just dropped it. So check out both of these videos and I will see you right there.